and on the agency also languages. So we have like we've been saying it's in eight languages, so that's it's really gone really fast. It's also a short document, so it's not so hard to translate, but it's really a success for how this has gone that it's available in a lot of languages for this whole thing. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the, I'll leave it on, and maybe we don't need to, to show the next slide was a thank you slide, so we'll just, <laughs> we'll just leave this one on so you can get it at your leisure. Um, but like we said, we want to use this opportunity to have a conversation with you. So we're hoping that you would be able to share your experiences, and you know, it might not seem relevant, or you might not think that it fits really well, but it would be valuable for us to hear what you've been encountering in terms of challenges, or what changes you would like to see so that we can try to see if that is something that we could integrate in our development process of CARIC. So this concludes our presentation and whoever would like to take uh, the, the floor next so we'd be really happy to, to hear about your experiences. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, completely open 
and there are no nuances. And we only have the disclaimer for that there are people in this picture, be careful. Um, and uh, I would be interested in extending this thinking into community projects that there is there are ways of dealing with the gray zone between open and both. And I think, I, well, I think this should be the, the gray zone, the zone should be the movement. So like how do we manage in, in the institutions, whether they like share or keep or do something in between, and then like on the platforms, whether you, know, you can take it back or close, or if, if something happens, if there's a war that you, you can, protect those um, assets <laughs> that are um, made, made to destruction. So, so I am I'm, I'm getting for and conditional sharing. I don't know, and then I think this goes to a question again for creative commons. I guess you are also thinking about some instruments, new instruments that might uh, tackle these questions. And then again, like, would Media environments be able to adopt those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far we are in terms of new tools, but certainly we want to produce more guidance to institutions that might hold objects from, you know, through, acquired through colonization or violence or other illegal means, and how they can take a more respectful and thoughtful and responsible approach to sharing those when a community has been dispossessed from their But maybe you could talk a little bit about the Vicky Love heritage and how, because I know that yeah. you, you only did that with the prior and home consent of the communities, right? Uh, yes, but of course we couldn't control everything. So, so just, uh, just a brief intro, so that there is this Wiki project, uh, it's a global project, it aims to connect the intangible cultural heritage focal points, which are government um, representatives, uh, to safeguard the union heritage, which is intangible cultural heritage in the area, and so they are part of this UNESCO um, system. They promote intangible cultural heritage from the area to uh, UNESCO, and then with media chapters and affiliates in those same areas to work together, and then as part of this, bring the data, the, the inventories that they are, um, they have to work, work on in the areas into the community data so that um, stuff can be here uh, and visualizations and information and uh, how things can be built around it. So, yeah. so uh, um, well, um, I think we have a major issue with open. <laughs> so uh, there are many levels of uh, challenges, one of them being that the, the data that is stored in the data. That's not the line with the UNESCO way of seeing the world. <laughs> because it could be different as well, but then, um, yeah. and there could be several different claims to one thing. Um, and they, well, like for example, country names are different <laughs> than like, UN, UN names. So I, I don't know why, because I think that should be um, <laughs> quite an easy thing to correct. <coughs> and, uh, and then um, the ownership of heritage, which is like the attribution of certain heritage to certain countries. Um, that is also because it differs from the UNESCO um, Inventories or uh, no, the list. So, um, like things like that. So, so anyway, it was like a computer data, and then they could keep the media data and they don't like it. So, that was a big challenge. Because it could be managed by like, it, 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 it did by anyone. Like, it wasn't controlled, the data. And I couldn't control it for them either. <laughs> so, Sorry to be so 
our culture and stuff. And so I, I think it would be quite valuable if we didn't focus the, the, the narrative around art, because culture is probably everything else. It's also art, but it's also everything else. And uh, it would be good if we didn't just close it around this thing.
that we get a chance to speak because I think your experience is so...